Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Jayco Whitehawk 23 MRB. This is a great little couples model. You have the Murphy bed up front, which if you've seen Jayco before, you know the Murphy beds are very easy to set up and tear down. You also have a lot of storage in here. So if you're looking for a couples model that's versatile and has a lot of storage, then this just may be the one for you. Let's uh, start off on the ceiling real quick here. So one of the things you'll notice right away is that you do have a slightly barreled ceiling, which is great. Gives you a little more headroom, doesn't feel closed in and claustrophobic. You'll also see you have a skylight right here in the kitchen to light in some natural light, which is great. Ducted AC. You have a couple of rows of LED lights there, which help brighten it up. You also have a big power vent fan right here too. So that way if you're cooking something stinky, it'll quickly get it out of there. And you have the WineGuard Razor antenna right up here, which is an upgraded TV antenna as well to get your over-the-air channels. Low profile, just turn it to find the best signal. You don't have to raise it up or down or anything like that. We take a look right over here on the side of the cabinets. You have this nice little uh, door here. We open that guy up and voila, there's our control panel. Uh, I like the fact that Jayco tucks it away. It's not just sticking out. You know, these are kind of ugly and that obviously just makes it a little bit prettier. But when we do open it up, you see the slide room control there, on and control our lights as well as our tank monitoring panel, uh, water pump. More importantly, if you notice the water heater here, notice how you can run it on LP as well as electric, assuming you have shore power there. You can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. Another thing that it comes with is this right here. This is a cool little remote. What you do is you can take this guy right outside, you can control your outside lights, your slides, as well as your stabilizer jacks and your awning right here from this control. So I really like that for the awning and the slide, especially if you go to like some uh, campgrounds, like state campgrounds where it's really small, tight spaces. You want to you know, open up your slide, make sure you're not going to hit a tree or anything like that. So that is a uh, nice thing to have. Take a look right here, beautiful solid surface countertops. You certainly have to love that. And right underneath on the front here, you will notice you have an electrical outlet there. So if you want to put a coffee maker here in the corner, you can plug it in. And then you also have additional storage right there. Myself personally, I'd probably throw some shoes in there, but you know, whatever you find you need to stick in there, feel free. Right here's your high rise pull out faucet. This makes it really easy to wash and rinse dishes, which is great. Or if you, you know, need to strain something, fill a pot, you know, you can fill it up right over here on the counter. Just makes life a little easier on you. Take a look at the sink itself. You will notice because you have the solid surface, it allows us to undermount the sink. American stone cast sink there, double equal bowl. You also have the backsplash there, which is uh, very pretty. Again, nice and decorative window to let in some of that natural light during the day. We take a look right up top, of course you have LED lights underneath, but right up top here, big storage area here in the kitchen. You have to love that. Whether you want to put plates up here, put food up here, cups, you know, whatever's floating your boat, but I like the fact that it is a big open space there. Microwave right over here to the side. Directly underneath is your hood with a light and a fan. Right back here, you'll see you have a knife holder, which is cool because that way if you have any kids or grandkids, you don't have to worry about grabbing knives out of drawers. You can just store them all right back here. Plus it kind of puts them on display if you have a nice set of knives. Directly in front of that is your three burner cooktop with the upgraded grade on here. Gives it a little more residential look to it. Front one is high output. And again, you can also have this double as prep surface, assuming you don't have any of the burners on, of course. Right underneath is your oven, in case you want to do some baking. And then this does have the stainless steel panel on it. If we take a look underneath the sink, you do notice you have storage there. Probably a good spot for some of your cleaning chemicals. Right over here to this side, you have your drop-down tray as well as three full extension ball bearing drawers. These are awesome to have multiple drawers. That way you have one for your silverware, another one for some of your larger utensils like spatula, serving spoons, things like that. Right over here is your fridge freezer combo. You'll see it has a stainless panels on front. When I open this one up, you'll notice plenty of space. This one is Norcold, which is built right here in the US, which I appreciate. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. So if you're running it off propane, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it will switch over for you, saving you that on your propane gas. So I did mention this one had a lot of storage and this is where it really starts. I know you have good kitchen storage, but folks, take a look at this. You have a huge storage area built in right here, a couple of shelves right there, which is great. 
Then take a look across the way here. Again, you open both of these up and just a ton more storage right there. Cool thing about it is you can use this as actual kitchen or pantry storage because I'll show you in the bathroom in just a second here, you have plenty of storage in here as well. As we take a step back in the bathroom, you can see how open and spacious it is. And I told you there was a lot of storage. Take a look at this right over here. We open this up and you have this massive wardrobe back here. Folks, if you plan on spending a lot of time in your RV, you can certainly hang up plenty of clothes right there. And to go along with it, you have four full extension drawers directly underneath. You'll also see you have your toilet paper holder right there, so it is easy to get to. You have your toilet right over here, porcelain bowl on there as well, so it's easier to clean. And you can clearly see you have plenty of legroom, as well as a heat vent right down below. This is cool too, because if it's cold morning, you're sitting, you know, doing your business, the uh, heat vent will blow right there on your feet, keeping them nice and toasty. You'll see you have a robe hook directly behind me, so probably a good spot to hang some of your towels. Uh, you have the vent right up top. Skylight above the shower to give you some extra headroom as well as let in some natural light. You have the chrome hand wand there as well as some shelving. The doors are in a roller track, which is great because that way when you're done showering, the water just goes right down the door into the shower pan. As far as height, I'll stand in here for you just to kind of show you. I'm six foot. As you can see, even without the skylight, I still have good space here, but with it, I have plenty. So if you're a little bit taller, it won't be a problem. You also have this blue light right here, which gives you the little accent light. Also helps you if you're showering at night. Helps brighten it up a little bit in there. Right over here is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You gotta love that. You also have a little, uh, again, you know, it's technically a robe hook, but it's great for your hand towels right there. The electrical outlet right over to this side. Of, of course, you need this sink to wash your hands, brush your teeth. Then underneath is additional storage. So we take a look at the slide here. You will see your entertainment center. Right up top is the 39-inch Furion TV. Uh, kind of gives you a great angle no matter where you're at. You, it is on a swing arm mount, so you can kind of move that around to give you a better angle, uh, you know, in case you're sitting on the dinette or something like that. Multimedia center right there in the center, folks. That unit is Bluetooth capable. Controls the speakers in here as well as outside, and it's a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it in right there. Storage on both sides of that. Not a ton, but, you know, at least they did give you something. And then you also have some pretty decent storage right down underneath. Uh, you do have an electrical outlet over here on the side of it. So if you're sitting here in the dinette, you need to plug in, you know, like a laptop, tablet, whatever it may be, gives you a spot to do that. And then you have the L-shaped sofa right here, dinette rather. Uh, cool thing about this, it does give you another spot to sit. You have a sofa up front in the form of a Murphy bed, which I'll show you in a little bit. This way you have a spot to sit and have a meal. You know, the table here is long enough. If you want several people to sit here, you can pay, you know, play a game of cards, something like that, which is pretty cool. And this table also does swing and drop down, which can help create this into a sleeping space or also uh, kind of double as like a coffee table if you want to move it up in front of the sofa there. You also have windows here to let a ton of natural light in during the day. Couple LED lights there. You'll also notice you have an accent light right here above the slide out fascia. So you can see that guy, uh, you know, again, just kind of help give that little pop and pizzazz uh, to impress your friends when they come in. Also right underneath here, this does pull out. You see you have some really big, good additional storage right there. So the table just moves out of the way like so. That's an excellent spot for some extra bedding or larger items. And then you also have this storage area right over here. Now we move to the front, and this is generally the make it or break it when you're talking about an RV. Uh, this is the Murphy bed. So if you're not aware, the main reason you get a Murphy bed, folks, is because it's versatile. It gives you the sofa, gives you an extra place to sit. You'll never see these in, you know, 35-foot RVs because they have plenty of space. But when you start talking a little bit smaller, you know, this is a great way to be able to include a sofa in a floor plan. Cool thing about Jayco is they do a good job on their Murphy beds. They have a couple different systems they've used over the last few years. I'll show you how this one works in just a second. Uh, cool thing about their newer system, this one here, is the fact it does give you full pass-through, which it did not in the past. Uh, if we take a look on the sides real quick, though, you will see you have mirrored wardrobe. So you do have some hanging space right there. You'll also notice you have uh, the shelf built in. It is a removable shelf. You want to take it out, you can see that. Uh, you know, in case you want to hang clothes or you can leave it in there. So now let's move on to the bed itself. You'll notice the sofa here does have armrests, which is cool. Makes it a lot more comfortable to sit in. 
They're easily removable just like this. We'll just take those out. I'll set it right over here to the side for now. Obviously you can put it wherever you want. This portion right here is a jackknife sofa. So you just lift this up and drop it down. What I do wanna show you folks though is this right here. See this table? If you want, you can set it up right here in front of the sofa or you can take it outside. That is an indoor outdoor table, which is pretty neat. And then right here, you also have a couple pull out drawers. So you can see that right there, just maximizing that space. But as I was saying, you drop down your jackknife just like so. You'll have a lock on either side. I already did, undid one side just for ease of showing you here. And then you drop it right down just like so. That's all there is to it, folks. Cool thing about this bed is you can leave it made. You know, it's not a tri-fold where you have to, you know, constantly undo it, leave it made, fold it up, drop it right back down, super simple. You also have the big, beautiful window right there, which lets in some light. Or, you know, if you want to be able to see the stars, if you're out somewhere where there's not a lot of light pollution, you can lay in bed, look out that window there and be able to see some stars too. You'll also notice on both sides, you do have nightstands. If you need a place to, you know, have a glass of water or put your cell phone as it charges, you can do that. See electrical outlet right underneath and additional storage yet underneath that. Let's take a look at some of the outside features of the White Hawk 23 MRB. Starting off right up front here, folks, you have a power tongue jack. This makes it really easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. All you have to do is simply touch a button that will raise and lower the tongue. That way you're not cranking it, wearing out your arm. You'll also see you have a little LED light right up front here, so that way if you're hooking up or disconnecting at night, it's a little bit easier. Behind that, you have two 30-pound propane tanks with a cover. I like having the 30-pounders in there from the manufacturer. It just allows you to camp a little bit longer. That way, you know, even in the colder season, you will continue to have heat. And then behind that, you can see right there is your, uh, your rails for your battery. Coming up the front here, you have the black diamond dutch plating there, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Then if you look up above that, you kind of have this really cool looking pseudo cap here with that front window. I showed you that when we were inside, that's right where the bed is, but it's an awesome looking front window from the outside. Gives it that, you know, really cool aesthetic, especially because it's tinted. Then you have the LED lights up front here as well, just really making it pop. When we come around to this side, you have the pass through right here. So as I mentioned with this style Murphy bed, it allows for all this pass through. That was something Jayco didn't have before. This entire thing came back because essentially the bed dropped down in there, but that is no longer an issue. So a uh, pretty great system there. If we take a look underneath, this one also has power stabilizer jacks. This is not auto level. You do want your camper to be leveled out, but after it is, you can go ahead and use these. That will drop your uh, stabilizer jacks down, just make it a little bit easier again, so you don't have to manually crank it up and down. Power awning right behind that. Take a look, folks. This power awning spans the entire length of the RV. So just touch a button to roll it out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And you have an LED light strip underneath. That way you have light at night. One of the things you can't see, which is above the uh, awning there, is the roof itself. I want to quickly talk about that because Jayco has the Magnum roof system, which is an awesome system. Uh, essentially what they have is they have two by two vertical supports instead of your uh, one inch aluminum strips that a lot of manufacturers are using, which give it a lot of strength. They also screw everything up there instead of using staples and they have oversized nail brackets. So all that really creates a solid foundation for the roof. Then on top of that, the membrane they use, the roof membrane, is a uh, upgraded Diflex 2 material. That material kind of takes the best of both worlds. It takes the best of the TPO with the best of the, ru the rubber roof and puts them together. You get the flexibility and pliability of rubber, but it's actually a fleeceless TPO. So what that means is you don't have basically any of the maintenance. So definitely a great roof system here on the Jayco. Getting up into the roof is, or uh, getting up into the camper rather is quite simple. You have three foldable steps right there with the grab handle here as well, so that way you can easily walk right up in. Uh, you also see that you have frameless windows. Now I do frameless windows look great, but also because the way they open, they kind of tilt open like this. It allows you to have them open while it's raining and the seal is better protected because it's tucked behind the glass right here. So it's not getting as beat up by the elements. The side walls, of course, are laminated. It's a fiberglass sidewall, fully laminated product right here. 
This is a TV mount. I've had people ask me what this is before. It just kind of looks weird just sitting there, but that's what it is. TV mount. That way you can plop a TV right out here. The corresponding connections are right down here. You have your cable outlet as well as your electrical outlets right there. And again, that's centered right underneath the awning exactly where you want it. If you just want to listen to some music, you can do that too. You have the speakers right up above there. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but as I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. And if you take a look right down below here, you will see that you have aluminum alloy wheels, which are great because not only they look nice now, but they will continue to do so because aluminum doesn't rust. And you will see they're also widespread axles. It's further apart than what you normally have on your travel trailer axles, which will help reduce sway. Uh, giving you a better tow experience while going down the road. So we'll go ahead and open this guy up. This is pretty cool too, this little system to open up your outside kitchen. You'll see it has this little guy right here. So what you do is you take the loop, kind of push it back, drops in just like that, and that prevents it from popping back up. So even if it's a windy situation, you know your door is not going to slam shut on you. So if we take a look out here, you have the little light switch there. It gives you a little auxiliary light. We can take a look right in here. There you go, brighten it up for you. You'll notice that you have good storage in there for like some paper plates, maybe some solo cups. They just use this net, so that way it's not bouncing all over as you're traveling, but it is still very easy to get to. This part right here is cool because it is actually strut assisted, so it's a little tough for some people to pull out at first, but once you get it about halfway here, there we go, it basically does the rest of the work for you. So uh, it is quite nice. I like the fact they have it here. The top is really pretty. They have a stainless steel top on your outside cooktop. Most of the time, this is just black, so they did kind of spice it up a little. And you can use this for prep space. You know, if you want to put, I don't know, like a toaster or something out here, electric griddle, you can do that. Put it right on top, plug it in right there, you're good to go. You have the sink over here to the side. If you do want to do some cooking, you can lift that up. There you go. Uh, for this, in order to get it to work, you'll want to hook it up underneath. You'll take a uh, cord, essentially hook it up right here. There'll be a propane quick connect right down underneath there that you'll want to plug it into. If you want to use your own, if you have a grill or something, you can certainly do that too. Put your grill right here, just plug it into that propane quick connect. Just make sure your grill doesn't have a regulator on it because if it does, it'll step it down twice as your tanks have a regulator already built in up front. Right over here is your outside refrigerator. If you need a place to put some of your uh, condiments or beverages, that's a good spot for it there. And when we come around to the back here, you'll see right there you have a ladder so you can climb up onto that roof. Again, as I said, it's plenty strong, definitely fully walkable. Over to the side is your backup camera prep. It's a decent size RV, not huge, but it's also not tiny. If you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning that if you're having it professionally installed, it'll save you some money on labor. Right over here is your swing arm mount for your grill. This unit does come with the grill. It's currently inside, but you can mount that right out here, swing it around so you can cook over there. And then right here is your spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, you know it's right here, riding with you. Uh, super easy to access. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees. Right here, folks, is your bumper. It is a square tubular bumper with the end cap. So if you need a place to put your sewer hose, take off the end cap, slide it right in there. And if you take a look right underneath there, you have a second propane quick connect. That is intended for your grill. Uh, just bear in mind, you want to run one or the other, not both at the same time. Here on the off door side, you'll see you have your cable or satellite input right there. 30 amp detachable power cord. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access. We jump up top, your city water inlet is here, black tank flush right next to that. It's a great thing to have. And down underneath, you will see your termination with both your gray and black tank valves. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Jayco Whitehawk 23 MRB. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.